Native Instruments released Complete 14 and this one includes Contact 7. And a lot of people ask, does Contact 7 has the same settings as Contact 6? And the answer is yes, some and some no. So I didn't install Contact 7, but I can show you this, the Contact 5 and Contact 6. So you see, this is Contact 5. And when you install Contact 6 or Contact 7, you will have the same libraries with the tabs here. And my Contact 6, this one, the full version, this one has a few more libraries because these libraries are created for Contact 6 and not Contact 5. So when you open your Contact, you can see all the old libraries that are used via native access. So this is a good information. But let's have a look at Contact 5. And here I use Quick Load. Here you can see I activated it here. And I love this feature. There are two reasons. First of all, you can see I've got a few pianos, the Feldseiler and another one and uh, Una Corda and so on and so on. And yes, you can drag and drop them. You can do this and change the order or just create a piano tab and then a quick load, just drag and drop the piano here and all the sounds. Or perhaps you've got a library that has a huge amount of patches and you want to create your own best of. And the other great thing is you can put in all the libraries that are not available at the tabs. So you can see I've just have a few libraries here, but I've got a lot of more libraries. For example, the cage library by ADO. And this one has to be accessed by the files tab. And here you have access to the drive. So this is my library, this is the patch, and then I can drag and drop, and then it opens. So the great thing is, you can take all these libraries and, and uh, put them to the quick load, and then you have easy and fast access to them instead of going to the drive and here and then go to instruments and press some subfolder. So this can be awesome and very fast. You can see, you can save alties, banks, and instruments. So let's have a look at contact six and this will be the same at contact seven. Here we are at the quick load at contact six, but it's empty. So what can we do? We have to look where is the quick load folder at my drive and at Windows. You can see I've got to go to the C drive. Next is the user. So this one is German called Benutzer. You've got to go to the user. I go to C user. Then you've got the folder app data and you can see it's a little bit transparent. So application data has another look. Have a look at the yellow and this one has another look because this can be a hidden folder. There's an option that you can see all of the folders. So go to app data, then local, native instruments, And then you can see here's contact five. Here is the quick load folder. We go to instruments. And yes, we can see all the great stuff. So I can copy all the three folder. So then we go to contact, quick load, delete all of the stuff because it's empty. Then paste the new stuff so this will be a whole copy and after this we will have a look at the contact six 
uploaded all the stuff. So you don't copy the whole libraries. You just copy some patches here. That's all. Okay, so let's go to Contact 6. And you see nothing changed because Contact 6 has to refresh. And let's go to here. We just unload it and load Contact. And here you can see we've got all the quick load information. Okay, so, ah, yeah, you want to do this at Apple, okay. So here is the Apple folder. First of all, you go to a library. Then here's the next one, application support, native instruments, contact or contact five or contact seven. And then you've got the quick load folder. Yeah, so that's uh, a short tip how you can save a lot of time when you upgrade to a new contact version. When you like this video, please give me a thumb up, would make me very happy. And see you next time. Bye.